Rock Center is a concept that uh, we all came up with. Uh, those of us practicing in Beverly Hills, Newport Beach, out in Rancho Mirage, where patients could look for their surgical care out of one group that really holds itself to the highest standards possible. We really look to be that, that sort of known brand of surgery, that known group that if you're coming there, you know that the surgeons are top of the line. You know that we can be as trained, as credentialed as, as we possibly can be. And it's not that there aren't great surgeons everywhere, there are. And not that we are the best on any given day, but maybe we are. But it really comes down to a reliability, uh, a reliability factor, trust, excellence, the things that you look for for surgery when it's your body and it's your time, your, your health care, uh, the money that you're spending, uh, it, it really has to be right. And we wanted to make an, uh, a group of surgeons that when people look at us, they can just say, you know what, I'm going to go there because I know if it's part of Rock Center, it, it's going to be as, as good as it can possibly be. And again, we have lots of colleagues that are all truly amazing and, and excellent surgeons but we really feel like we've dialed it in in a way that patients can expect that every time they walk in the door. Rock Center is composed of uh, surgeons who come from many different backgrounds. We are based out of a uh, plastic surgery uh, group that really was started out of providing reconstructive plastic surgery in Beverly Hills. I trained in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in a very hardcore surgical training program at the University of Pittsburgh and that's what I knew. And so I brought this style plastic surgery to Beverly Hills because it was needed. And out of that we've evolved our aesthetic surgery practice but we also have general surgeons uh, who do a lot of outpatient uh, general surgery here. We do laparoscopic hernia repairs, uh, we do lap band surgery for weight loss. Uh, we do uh, all kinds of uh, different um, laparoscopic procedures, including uh, now we've added uh, uh, a gynecologist who actually does a, a lot of uh, minor laparoscopies in, in the center. And one of our recent additions is Dr. Travis Kidner, who is uh, trained at the John Wayne Cancer Institute, and he's providing high-level, very specialized surgical oncology, uh, specifically melanoma and breast cancer. Uh, surgery and care for patients who are, have these terrible diagnoses. As plastic surgeons, we wind up treating a lot of these patients after they've had their cancers uh, resected and treated, and we just decided that it would be better to make a comprehensive approach to these problems so that patients could know that there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel, especially for the reconstruction, because when somebody comes in with a melanoma on their nose, that's a very big issue. Um, furthermore, we, you know, we've added other specialties such as uh, otolaryngology with Dr. Mark Cam. Uh, we have the capabilities to do the breast cancer reconstruction. Uh, Dr. Uh, Eliza Tran uh, recently joined our team and she came from a, uh, a breast surgery which included oncology and reconstruction uh, fellowship at Yale University and then went on to train fully in plastic surgery. So she brings the, the whole gamut of training to this group, which I really believe that patients will, they're, they're looking for that now. The, uh, the big hospitals are becoming so bureaucratic and so bulky that it's difficult for patients to navigate those systems. For those that can, that's great. Uh, for those that want something a little more specialized, a little more customized and private, they're coming here and they, they're going to be uh, happy that they can call in and get a person on the phone uh, rather than a phone tree. They're going to be happy that they can reach their, their doctor, their doctor's uh, physician assistant, and uh, that makes all the difference in the world. Patients want to be taken care of, especially with these terrible diagnoses.